remembered where I put it that time. <laughs> Do you want some? Yeah. Hello, Hammerheads. Thanks for tuning in. We have got another package, you know. Let's see what's in that one. Oh, it looks a bit more complicated than the last one I had. Obviously homebrew by the size. Shit, shit, shit. Fucking knife time. Fucking bastard. Cunting, twatting knife time. use this cheese knife yeah what's it says on the um, deliverance again <laughs> you sharp it don't shave a hair did he bleed he bled <laughs> yeah I can recite the script from that film backwards in me sleep <laughs> different tape on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the, the first stout I got in December. And I like this that much, I've got, got it again. So, how many pints is that? Because um, remember I, 32 pints and stout sores like less because well it's a darker and denser beer isn't it yeah it looks like no looks like there's more of it <laughs> that's the one i got the other day i'm gonna need some more barrels at this fucking rate i'm telling you i'm fucking telling you well from now on i'm brewing my own beer Instead of spending a fortune in the shops for fucking shit, you know, like that, fucking rubbish. Burton on Trent, yeah. And if you're sick to death of that fucking Dylan Mulvaney, you know, advertising Bud Light. I mean, I'm fucking sick of seeing it all over social media. I mean, he's playing the fucking... He's making a lot of money. You know, he's doing parodies. Not very nice parodies, not very funny parodies. Of women. You know? Disrespecting them. And women are falling for this. You know? Most of his 12 million followers on fucking Twitter and everywhere else and TikTok were mostly females. Yeah, go figure. Advertising women's bras. And that stupid dance fucking half arsed dance sequence he's doing. Sequence. This is what a woman looks like, is it? I'm sick of these people being disrespectful to women. Right? And girls, females in general. How dare people like that say, this is what a woman is. And <laughs> people like Nike use them to advertise the product, the female product. Could they not find a, a female model to do the advert instead of a fucking bloke pretending to be a woman? I'd have a little bit more respect for these people if they had more respect for women and also if they fucking went the extra mile and made a little bit of an effort to look the part you know I'm not the best makeup artist in the world but I fucking try 
some of these fucking idiots, big butch blokes, showing the hairy chest, beard, pink and blue wig, and like, makeup on, that looks like it's been applied by a blindfolded toddler. Yeah, right, and they're identifying as a woman. Really? So all women have hairy chests and beards then, do they? And wear ridiculous coloured wigs. These are the activists who've got... I don't know what's the matter with them, me. Jumping on Kelly Jane Keane like they did a few weeks ago. I mean, yeah, I get... Sh I've had shit since I came out on social media. Guess who from? The fucking left. The trans activists. They're the ones who's fucking... Yeah, I've had death threats even. Yeah? From these hashtag be nice. The alphabet mafia. Just because I won't agree with them, then I'm not a woman. I tell them I'm 100% male, you see. They don't like that. They don't like the truth. They don't like facts. They don't like science or biology or evidence or anything like that. They're all hate fucking crimes. Now it's all fable fantasies and fairy tales. And if you don't believe in them, you end up in trouble. Vilified. Cancelled. In some cases, fucking arrested. Well, anyway, sorry for that bloody tangent there. Oh. <sighs> Had to be said. <laughs> I should have done a separate video, actually. But that's what you got to do. Do what I'm doing now. I mean, but like shit anyway. I, the amount of times I've been in America, right? And I've been drinking that crap. And, it, you know, the regular Budweiser and a few more shit ones. Miller and, the, you know. Till my girlfriend at the time who was living out there in Oregon. She took us to this, the Universal Liquor Store, right? A bit like an off-license, but... Whoo, it's even had Newcastle Brown Ale in there, man. Never seen anything like it. And some of their ales, pretty fucking damn good. So, I mean, <laughs> the sales of Bud Lights <laughs> plummeted even quicker than the fucking Gillette products did a couple of years ago because of that... Toxic masculinity advert they put out there. Eight billion in a month they lost in revenue. Gillette. Bud Light. Oh, God almighty. I mean, it was shit to start with. You can't improve on it by coating it with more fucking shit. And that's what they did. The advertising campaign completely made a bad product even fucking worse. You know what I mean? Only idiots do that. Never mind. I'm going to have to get a couple of more barrels for this, that, and I hope to God I haven't got any more coming tomorrow in the post or the day after or the day after that. I forgot all about that. I knew I got one. I couldn't remember getting two. Oh, God almighty. I've got 80 pints in the bedroom. Um. Should be ready by Saturday. Should be. I tested a couple of the other day and it was a bit cloudy. So, meh. Well, anyway. Ah, sorry for boring the bloody pants off you. Even Hollis is bored. He was dancing before. <laughs> now we just. Uh, I don't know. He always looks like a corpse. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> oh.